I've been diagnosed with brain cancer and I heard the words that no one wants to hear. There was no cure and it was terminal. I braced myself for the biggest fight of my life, to fight for my life. But my diagnosis opened my eyes to an opportunity. I remember back when I was 10 years old, I saw Iron Man for the first time. And I remember seeing these elite endurance athletes and thinking to myself, these guys are like superhumans. Now that's, that's not for me. And then I thought, if when I'm weak, then I'm strong. What if I did Iron Man? And so I went and I told my daughter, Hero, Hero, I'm gonna do Iron Man in your honor for you, a grand gesture of love. I saw an opportunity in Iron Man. My progression was so slow compared to other endurance athletes as I was trying to make it to even be able to attempt this race. I put so much time, so much energy, overcame so much to be here and I thought, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. And that's when I learned that there's strength in the attempt. And so I ran with everything in me to them. And when I turned on my street, I ran through a passageway of support, friends on both sides. And as I went through that passageway, some of them came behind me and started to run me in. And when I looked at the finish line, this huge structure with the Iron Man finishing tape, I saw my wife and my daughter. And then I got down on one knee and I said to my daughter, if I can do it, you can do it. Now I stand here on this stage to tell you all that if I can do it, you can do it. There is nothing special about me. I am no star. I am weak. But the Holy Spirit that's in me is strong. And that same spirit is in each and every one of you. Each and every one. That spirit is all you need. God is gonna put dreams into your heart. He's gonna put calling on your life that is bigger than you. It's gonna be bigger than you, bigger than the strength that you have, and yet Jesus is enough. The spirit that he gave to you is enough. And so I ask you, what is it? There's always something. 